Welcome back to another edition of Research Fantasy Presents, our CFL DFS picks for week 12 of the CFL season. It's amazing to think about how fast this year has really gone. We've got a terrific slate of games starting Friday this week, thankfully, so that we have a little time to recover after the Labor Day games, which really, truthfully, outside of the Winnipeg and Montreal side of the ball, went exactly how I saw it, which I was very happy about um, this week. Hopefully, we can achieve the same level of success. Let's get things started off with our quarterback of the week, and that's Matt Nichols of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. The reason we go Nichols this week is there seems to be this weird dynamic and fluctuation where with these teams... They seem to flop. We saw this happen with BC and Saskatchewan, and I'm quite frankly, I'm pretty positive it's going to happen this week with Saskatchewan and Winnipeg, where the home team goes off, the road team struggles. We saw that happen three times in a row with Saskatchewan. Now we have a situation where Winnipeg's the home team. Um, I expect another solid outing from Nichols. I have him slated as my top quarterback of the week. Not necessarily by far, but pretty close. I think with most of his weapons back now, he's in a good position to produce, and I think the shift to his home field is going to do nothing but help him. Moving on to the running back position, a couple of names I'll throw out there just for the hell of it. Keenan LaFrance is going to be starting for Saskatchewan. I just don't think the game flow benefits him. Roy Finch has been an absolute monster, and it's hard to ignore what he's doing at his price. But for me, it's going to be Jeremiah Johnson this weekend from BC. Montreal has been horrible as of late. I do not think shifting this game to the the road is going to help them at all. I expect the BC defense to be able to eat apart Darian Durant. When that takes place, I expect something similar to what we saw with Calgary this past weekend where they just try to run the ball down um, Montreal's throat. He's priced enough under Andrew Harris that I feel comfortable using him in this capacity, and he's going to be the guy that I certainly want to have on my rosters this week. At wide receiver, I'll give you two guys I really like um, in order of how I like them. First is going to be Weston Dressler. The price at 7100 is still far too low. Um, He did not have a great game, but I think the fourth quarter, how you saw him, is how you'll see him for four quarters with this game being at home. I fully expect him to get double-digit catches over 100 yards, and a touchdown will be the cherry on top. The matchup is excellent for him. He is certainly going to be Nichols' first look, uh, and I expect him to have a monster week and really pay off his salary quite easily. Next up, we'll go with Deontay Spencer, and he's a guy that if you have purchased our premium over the last several weeks, You know that I've been high on Spencer, and this week is no different. He gets perhaps, not even perhaps, definitely the best matchup on the board against Hamilton. Trevor Harris has shown a tremendous amount of trust in him. I expect after seeing Hamilton show some fight against Toronto this past week that you'll see Ottawa move a little more aggressively, and I think that means some downfield passes, and Spencer being the fastest guy on the team should benefit from that. Kickoff returns and punt returns are the cherry on top. I'm expecting another 20-plus fantasy point week from Spencer, who had a slow start to the season, but is certainly starting to round things off to, to uh, now. That'll wrap it up as I stumble over my words. Thanks again for joining us. Please check out what we offer. Uh, our premium package has been pretty successful this year. It's cheap at just $5 a week. There's still money to be made in the CFL. Uh, again, Hit us up at researchfantasy.com. Follow us on Twitter at Research and Win, and we'll see you next week.